Good day guys, Bing here. Um, today we are going to model this. Okay, so something like this. Okay, so let's start. So first, uh, create a, a mass. And then, um, so let's go to floor plan. I'm going to, um, oh, actually, let's go to south elevation. So I'm just going to draw a reference plan so I know the dimension of this. Um, maybe I'll make it roughly 30 meter. And also I'll draw another two and 30, I'll make it 30 meter as well. Uh, don't worry about this. I'll see if I can delete it. Yes, I can. Okay, so that's, that's it. So now let's go to floor plan and I'm going to just draw a reference spline through points. Draw our work plan. So on level one, that's good. So I'm going to just, I'm going to draw one roughly like this. Okay, so escape. Now let's go to 3D view. So this is one spline. Okay, so now go to go to the front. So I'm going to copy it up. So to 30 meters, so another one, and maybe another one roughly in the middle. So now we have three reference line. So now we can go to the the right elevation, CC. I'm going to just copy it, um, maybe 20 meter. Okay, so now we have six reference line. So select these three, and uh, we can create a form. Okay, so this is a flat uh, face, and these three, so we can create another one. But for the front, I'm going to just adjust the point, so to make it, uh, you know, uh, curved. So you can, so even, uh, you can add more points. So for example, I'll just HH the face, and you can add more points, draw on face, and draw a place on this reference line, and then you can make the point driving. So now you can adjust the point to, you know, to create more uh, interesting shape. So now HR, so this is the face, okay? So, so the next step is uh, we need to uh, play, create a uh, place um, Grid. Okay, so for this one, so you can use device surface, but um, let me just, oh, yeah, that's it. So 10, 10 by 10, so which means three, three meter by three meter. But for this one, if you use device surface again, it looks like 10 by 10 as well. But if I go to south elevation, you will see they are not matching. Okay, so you will see, oh, it's not matching. So if I change it to fixed distance, so you will see it's not, it's actually not three meter. And this one, so it's a little bit more than three meter. And if I change them to three meter fixed, so you will see uh, we will have extra breeds or extra uh, divided surface at the, uh, on, on the edge. So what we need to do is instead of have this u grid and v grid we need to turn them off so let's do this one first and also this one turn them off and what we need to do is we need to use intersection okay intersection so we need to create some reference plans so i'll just maybe use this one copy cc and three meter three meter and I'll just copy that. The um, copy them. Yep, that's enough. And then I'll copy this one down. Okay, so and copy more. And then one more. So now we can select this face and use intersects and select this reference plan. Control select this and finish. 
Okay, so let's go to 3D view. So that's that's a grid. And the same, we, we need to select this intersects and then once again select this and also let's rotate a little bit and also this okay and finish so now we have these grids and then if we go to south they are matching okay so now go back to 3d view so we can go turn on the nodes so you can turn off this if you want to and this one turn on the nodes and then we have all these nodes on which we can place um, adaptive family so let's create the adaptive family so it's okay so now go to uh, just let's just place one point okay make it adaptive CC copy it and yeah okay so now we can select them make a spline make a reference line then place a point draw on face place it on this reference line reference rectangle draw on word plan set word plan pick this vertical word plan and draw a, a, a rectangle three meter by three meter okay so and then oops sorry select the full reference line together with this point CC select the point pick new holes and then select these eight reference line create a form and then select this point drag it to this end select this point drag it to this end so that's it okay so um, so let's just create a, a material for it okay so let's create a material parameter so I would call it um, M1, okay, M1, M1, um, type or instance, let's use type and OK. And for this exercise, I'm going to, so see there's some color on the top of the top of this. So maybe we can just um, create a material parameter and paint that parameter onto this face. Okay, so let's go. Uh, I think it should be here. So family types. Okay, so M1. We can create another one. Let's call it M2. Instance. Okay, instance. So and change the type of parameter to material. And it's good. And okay. So now we can go to modify and paint. Okay, so in this list, you will find this M2 param. Okay, so that's parameter. So select this and paint on the top of this. So it looks like it's the same, but it's it's different. Okay, so now we can load this into here. So let's go to 3D view and you can place it onto onto these nodes okay so it looks like uh, the orientation's not right so we just need to go back I think we sh we can just check this always vertical load it back over right and I think that's it so let's select this family repeat and just wait for a couple seconds uh, looks like there's some issue there. Um, don't know what's happening there, but let's ignore that this part. But yeah, the top part is okay. So, and let's have a look of the material. Okay, so let's go select one of them. Oh, that's instance. Yep, that's okay. So if you select the whole, you know, repeat repeater, so you can edit type. So this will be the materials except the top. Okay, so let's create. Uh, let's give. Let's give it a material. So I'll just uh, create a new material, and I'll use a white color. And then, or maybe uh, instead of white, let's give it a little bit color. 
a little bit green, okay, or maybe not green, red. Okay, okay, and okay. Yep, so you will see it's all a little bit red, except the top of this box, right? And then we can, so for um, individual one, so if I select this one, because this uh, M2 is instance, so we can just change the material for only for this. Uh, is it? Yeah, it's not changed, but it looks like that because the the lighting and make it looks like white, but it's already changed. So let's have a look of this one. So if I change this, or maybe we can do this. Um, I see. So if once you I see isolate, so you will only have ah, uh, hang on. I can't select them. Um, yeah, maybe we need to just select them like like this. Okay, so okay that okay. So let's just select this and give it a different material. So this time I'll duplicate, duplicate, and give it maybe a green color. Yep, all good. So ah, ah, okay. So looks like um, if I because because I still have that uh, repeater, so it will also change. Um, yeah, let's remove the repeater. So and then change them to the the other one so this one okay so i think that's it so let's see if we can change the shape of this so see this reference line and also see this reference point let's try to select this point and then let's move adjust it okay so yeah, it's a bit hard to select. Maybe we can just hit A, H, H. So select, hide, temporarily hide all those uh, adapt, adaptive uh, family. So I'll see if I can drag this point to adjust this surface. Yep, yeah, it's okay. So now H, R. So you will see these. Yeah, no good. So and the same if I adjust this one. Yeah, it's a bit hard to. Let's try WF wireframe. Yeah, so that point. And let's see if I can drag. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure what's happening here. So let's say if I adjust this part, what's that? Oh, it's fixed. Great. Um, yeah, that's that's it. Uh, it's very, uh, it's quite simple. Um, okay, so if you have any question, please let me know. Uh, I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.